so I'ma enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has made Very much blood orange drink. <laughs> She's a whole senior and don't know how to act. And what? And what? And who? Why the book bag so jacked up? The pink gang. <laughs> Since when is she into pink? I don't know. This is done. I didn't expect to come on camera today, but we are still in the mood, in the vibe, in the vibe of prepping for fall. It is now September. I just wanna show you guys some decor that I got from the dollar store. I did do a little montage of me hanging out this garland, trying to hang up the garland. But I also got this pumpkin, and I love that it has the gold on it because I definitely love, like, my room is gold accents. So I did that, and then I have this beautiful bouquet but it has a pumpkin in it i think it's super cute i've been burning this candle non-stop pumpkin cupcake from bath and body works um i love that i have some lindor's chocolate and it's gold here i have the orange pumpkin with the gold top love that then i changed my pompous to all white and a hint of gold and then my curtains are green emerald green i don't know if you guys can see because of the the light but it's emerald green and orange so i love that i didn't do a lot of decor this you know season because i am gonna shift to pink and i do intend on doing like a full room transformation full room you know and it's gonna be pink so i don't want to do too much for the fall season but i still want to be festive i still have to change my plaques i usually like to change it you know cater to the season so i'm gonna be doing that update i changed the pictures that were in my frames it's like a little fall peep the little gilmore girls got the candle it's doing the thing doing the thing so I did have some pictures that I hung on my wall back here last year for fall and I wanted to go print out new prints but I'm like I'm trying to get in the habit of using what I have and not like constantly you know consuming and buying and like overconsumption like 
Just use what you have and just make it look good. So I use my prints and it looks really good. I love the white outline with the gold. So I got that done. Let me show you all this other counter that I bought. I bought this pumpkin pecan waffle from Bath and Body Works as well. So good. Like I got it for free because I had more than a thousand points. And then I also got white pumpkin. They were having a $14.95 candle sale. And I picked that up along with the pumpkin cupcake that I showed you guys earlier and I'm just ready well fall has already started for me I just haven't taken out my sweaters and everything because the weather is very bipolar like it hit 80 then it go back down to 50 and I'm just like keep the summer clothes out that's what it's given keep the summer clothes out happy fall happy fall it is September September 21st. Yes, September 21st. When is fall? I think fall is the 23rd. So it's fall, it's been fall. I picked up some, like from the UK, I picked up some bits and bobs from Burlington for the fall. I also picked up this fall throw blanket. It is super, super, super cute. I got it for $12.99 at Burlington. And I'm gonna put this on my bed right now, once I clear up. So this is cute. And then like I was contemplating because I'm about, I'm gonna do a, like a room transformation very soon. I was contemplating on whether or not I should get this, but my sister was like, you can't get it now. We can use it for the time being. And then next year, just put it into storage. Next year, you take it back out, boom. So that that is absolutely a good idea. And being that like my favorite thing, I'm in my pink era, 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 era. I'm even coloring this pink Bobby Goods coloring that I got off of Pinterest. I keep printing out coloring sheets to make sure that I like to color. I also got, it's not Ohu markers, but it's close enough. And it came with 120 markers. I wanted to do like an unboxing and everything. Oh, I think I'm gonna do a coloring video since this is like a craft channel um like we talk about jesus we everything jesus everything fashion and crafting so i feel like i should do like a coloring video on my channel like look how cute this is and i color coordinated them i put all my browns down here all my pinks up here oranges i did like the roy g biv and I think I'm gonna do a coloring segment on my channel. And at this point, I'm just I'm just recording because I love to record. I also, so with the Ohu, they put like a swatch, a swatch thing in your box, but because it is not an Ohu brand, like Ohu brand markers. Ohu, if you're seeing this, please sponsor me. I don't have Ohu yet, but soon. But I decided to go on Pinterest and print out this color swatch paper so I can know like what the colors are because the color of the caps is not the color that it comes out when you're coloring. So I printed out this. This is how it comes, right? So you put the name, the brand of the markers. So I put the brand of the markers. I'll link the markers down in the description box down below just in case if you wanna get the markers. I paid $25 for it, I had a coupon. The Ohu markers are way more expensive. I would really love to get the 320 markers. Ohu, if you are watching this, sponsor your girl or send me like PR, cause like I love coloring, but I just really want to get into coloring more, especially because it's fall. Like, that's a fall hobby. I think I'm going to do a fall hobby video, too. Like, anyways. But I got this swatch paper off of Pinterest. I just printed it out, put the um, names of the markers on there, and then colored it in the swatches. I also picked up um, today some white gel markers because I wanted to do, like, little outlines and, like, little cute designs on my coloring sheets as well. Um, these are my last few colorings that I did. This was my first one. Not me just disappearing. I'm back. I also got these super tips. So Cozy K Kennedy, if you watch Cozy K on YouTube, she got the super tips. So the only reason I use super tips on my first coloring, this was my first one. I'm still trying to like get into coloring and everything. Um, it's literally a brainless hobby, but I use these one time, but I stopped using them because like, I don't know how they look. I don't know how they color. Like I don't know the color. So just because it's saying black right here, when you color it, it might be gray. So I need to do a color swatch chart for my super tips tips so I know what color to do but I'm gonna show you guys my colorings right now so this is the first coloring that I did I plan on having like a color wall like when I when I do my colorings to put it up like a color collage wall I think maybe if it ruins the aesthetic not gonna do it if anything I can just put it in like a cute binder and just go through and then I did an autumn based coloring but this was the second coloring I did this is from Bobby Goods I think 
this is super super cute and like you can make the coloring your own like i did the chair i did this then for the next two i got into more of a fall coloring i'm still trying to i'm still trying to fix my sky i'm still trying to finesse my sky i'm not really good at shading and everything but this is the sky that i did and i think this came out really good especially like the wagon and then the stuff that's in the wagon it just makes me want to go to like a farm or pumpkin picking or apple picking then next i did this super super cute cabin fall coloring it came out really good also with the ohu markers slash any type of alcohol markers that you get um it comes with like a, a colorless marker which is like a blending marker and i blended in these um leaves which came out really cute when it dried so i'm really getting into coloring you know after like a long day and i just want to i want to say de-stress but like you know relax from having a long day i definitely think that this is a great hobby to acquire and then last i i got this one nice rainy day i did pretty good with this sky i also got this mug from Hobby Lobby like this is just me talking about like things that I got before we move into October fully. I plan on like trying to shoot out videos for you guys anyways I got this Hello Kitty mug I got it because it's Avi pink and then I got me some PJs and loungewear from Burlington and surprisingly majority of the PJs that I got were pink going to dink i'm really trying to get out the habit of wearing my pjs like throughout the entire day especially because i sew i don't want to wear my clothes in my sewing room and then wear them back when i'm going to bed so i think that having like a like separate clothes like loungewear and also modest and appropriate because i i want to keep it modest like i want to like okay but cute i also got some fabric to make my own lounge set because i've been like craving a lounge set i also got this Ooh, money I also got this Juicy Couture. This Juicy Couture says Juicy on the back. Super cute. I just hope it fits. Like, I want a more cohesive pajama set or sets. So I feel like me getting this, these pajamas that have sets, it just makes it so much easier for me. It makes me feel better going to bed, you know. I'm definitely, I can see where, like, in different areas of my life where I'm adulting. Um, This is the last set that I got. Also, Juicy, again. Juicy really stepping out with it i love it it's another pink juicy set and it is pink and we love we love a pink set we love a pink set i'm really gonna have a lot of fun with my pink sets so i got one, three pjs and then one lounge set so i think that that's pretty good it wasn't like really expensive but it that's really good oh let me tell you guys about these gummies that i've been using to grow my nails and everything it's called hair skin and nail gummies by nature nature bounty nature's bounty it's really been working so i stopped taking them and like my nails just reverted like hello that's why vitamins are good for you because it helps like they my nails just grow out evenly i also use like nail hardener um i also use um like a nail growth serum on my nails they're not all that right now let me clean them out I got a little debris debris under them under them so they reverted so like this is like a nice length for me this is also a nice length for me as well so that's also a nice length for me this broke on the side here so i'm trying my best to like keep up with my hair hair skin and nail gummies but like that's that's it oh i got another set hold on one second yo i bought some pj well i'm gonna find it when i'm cleaning up i bought some pjs and i cannot find them like i bought them in january june july and i can't find them but i'm gonna find them one day i'm gonna find them one day i'm back no no <laughs> I also forgot that I got this lounge set from Amazon, hot pink. Ooh, 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 I see something that I like. It got pockets, y'all. So I am going to clone this to make loungewear for myself. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna have a great time. Sooner or later, my whole life is gonna be absorbed pink. So this is long sleeve. This is really big. I didn't expect it to be this big, but it's okay. Oversized is also always better. I'm excited. Oh, and also, um, this is not a part of like my September reset and things, but I'm going to deliver an order, a dress order that I finished and I'm so happy. This is a dress, so you can't see, but it's pink. It's pink and like, look at the details. So my company, 
Ooh, my business colors are black and gold mainly. With it, I'm trying to incorporate like a dash of pink, but it's just so hard to incorporate like a dash of pink because I don't want to like mess up the like the how like the the the. I don't know the word, like the sophisticated look that it has. Um, but this is just, I'm gonna zip it down a little bit so you can see. So it has like a tie neck at the top and it has a bow at the back. The main, it's a gown, BTW. It's not just any old dress. And then the one, the one thing that I really love are these rhinestone buttons. Are you kidding me? I don't wanna touch it too much because this fabric is very, very fragile. <laughs> So let me zip it on up. I also gifted my, my client, like I love to give away free things when you order from me. You're not just gonna get your garment when you order. You're not just gonna, you know, you're gonna get something free. So you're like, oh my gosh, she's really thinking about me. So I gifted her a hat pin, pink. And I also gifted her a brooch, which is also pink. And I think that's it. I also included a garment care card because I feel like that's very important. Sometimes we buy things from the store and we don't know how to care for it. And we end up messing up the garment. So I'm so happy that I got this dress done. This is not even a part of the Welcome to Fall October reset, but I'm excited, girl. You in the oldest? Me. I'm excited. I also got a pink trash bag, trash bin. I bought this from Home Goods, and this was I think it was like only nine dollars. Yes, it was nine ninety nine from Home Goods. I never had a trash bin in this room before, but now I do. So I'm gonna go deliver this, and yeah, I'm gonna try on my lingerie when I get back, and then we have to work on our October calendar, and then we're gonna end this video because I've been running this video for a minute. Y'all don't know, but I know. Okay. I've been running this video for a minute. Y'all, I cannot finish this candle. Like, it just keep, it just keep coming back. It just, it's just like not going down. Well, clearly it is going down. I've been burning this candle like crazy. It smells so good. One more thing. So, we have less than 100 days left in the year of 2024. And I've been writing down my accomplishments for 2024. This is not all my accomplishments because I came up with this idea last week. And I was supposed to put accomplishments on it with my Cricut. But I didn't get the chance to. But I need to write more accomplishments in here. We're going to do the calendar. And then we're going to end this video. Because I feel like this video is going to be super long if I don't end it. And before you know it, I'm going to post this video next year, 2025 October. Hello? Somebody called the fire department? Cause I'm on fire! Ooh, did I do my word of the day? Word of the day before we leave. I always want to try to include a word of the day in every video that I put out. Um, so last night I was actually reading Luke chapter eight. And if you read Luke chapter eight, specifically from verses 40, to 56 it speaks about the woman with the issue of blood and Jairus's daughter and how Jairus thought she was dead well it looked like she was dead and as I was reading it like I was just like going through the motions like yo anyways let me just explain I'm, let me not get ahead of myself two things that I got from it one the woman with the issue of blood was bleeding for 12 years 12 years and God could have healed her in the first year that she started bleeding. He could have healed her in the 11th year. He could have healed her in the third year. But he decided that in the 12th year was the year that she was supposed to be healed. This lady spent money, her checks, her income on going to doctor's appointments, medications. I'm, I'm imagining, right? And the doctors couldn't do anything. The doctors gave up on her, right? And sometimes we go through some situations like with our body, with our health, and like the doctor gives up on us. The doctor says there's nothing else that we can do. But listen, we know a man and I know a man who can. It was so crazy. Although there was a crowd, right? And there were people crushing each other. I'm imagining that it's bigger than the ball dropping in Times Square. That's, I feel like it was more people than that. She got through the crowd some way, somehow to just touch the end of Jesus's robe. The Bible didn't say she ran to him um, or and grabbed him or asked to touch him. No, she went by faith and just touched the end of his robe. That's all that you need some time. All you need is a little bit of faith. And God is not asking for a cup of faith. He's not asking for a gallon of faith. He's asking for a mustard seed of faith from you. And you will be able to move mountains. You will be able to experience your healing with just that mustard seed of faith. And it's so crazy because all these years I've been saying, um, 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 oh my God, the Bible verse about um, mustard, um, having faith as small as a mustard seed. And yesterday was the first time that I like went and researched a mustard seed and looked how big it was like 
like you know and it's only one millimeter if you know how small a millimeter is that is so small and that that is all god is inquiring from us to have the one millimeter of faith and i wrote down um in my bible i said faith flavor is faith is flavored with one millimeter of mustard seed and if you research a mustard seed mustard seeds are added to foods or your cooking to increase heat or you know the heat of the food or flavor it adds flavor so when you're serving god and you have faith you are adding flavor to your situation even if it's a negative situation you're still adding flavor to it right so i feel like she had that flavor she had that heat like she 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 knew inside of her like this is the day I'm gonna be healed I don't care who is around me and the crazy thing is um after she touched the end of his garment um Peter was going crazy he was like just we gotta go we gotta go heal Jairus's daughter he's she, she's dead and stuff but after she touched him and he turned around and he was like who touched me and Peter was like what are you talking about Jesus was like I felt power leave for me so who touched me and it's so crazy he didn't turn around and yell and, and 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 you know create a scene and say like who touched him i'm the high priest no he turned around and said daughter he called her daughter and he said to her because you have faith it saved you some things that we go through is because we have faith that's why we're not dead that's why we're saved sometimes because of the faith that we have oh my goodness like faith that's all you need to have like no matter what you're going through right have faith have faith like it is impossible to please god without having faith impossible to please god because my father was um teaching bible study one night and he said we're serving a person that we can't see so we have to have faith ain't no way you don't have no faith ain't no way you have to have some type of faith because you are waking up every morning you're praying to this person that you can't see we're praying to this god that we can't see so we have to have some type of faith to know that this person this god that we are serving is great and he is able to come through for us the woman with the issue of blood had faith and she knew once she heard about this man she knew that he will come through for her it was impossible for her to touch the end of his robe and not be healed and then it said instantly she stopped bleeding instantly the blood just dried up it didn't wait until she got home the blood didn't wait till she got no instantly when you really touch and agree with Jesus Christ it is impossible for your situation to stay the same and you have to have faith as well so it's really impossible and it's so crazy that after that um she explained to the crowd of what happened like she was bleeding for 12 years and you know like she went to doctors they couldn't do anything and some people will look at your situation um like after your testimony because there's a lot of testimonies on youtube and some people are afraid to you know tell their testimony listen i ain't gonna lie i'm afraid to tell mine too because i know there's a lot of judgmental people but what i'm trying to say is there are people out there that listen to your testimony and judge you based off of what you went through that this is that's that, that this is word number two people will judge you based off of what you went through you were telling the testimony to glorify god through your testimony like god brought me out of this and this is where i am today and some people will use your testimony against you but god brings you through these things so he can get the glory that's why we go through the things that we go through so he can get the glory that's all that matters so she didn't care listen at the end of the day who won't judge her judge her she was bleeding for 12 years but at the end of the day she's healed at the end of the day i'm saved at the end of the day god delivered me at the end of the day i'm serving the true and living god so really make it make sense and one thing that i thought was just like so crazy to me was that she was bleeding for 12 years if you if you bleed for more than two weeks er instantly instantly and it was just so crazy to me that she didn't die she did not die and she was bleeding for 12 years straight i know it was hard for her to go about her daily activities and like go to work because blood brings pain excuse my explicit but blood brings pain when you're bleeding your body is letting go of things so there's contractions going on and all of that different things that i don't know about in the body medically but you are going through pain you're weak you you, you cannot move about the way how you want to move about like you can't do what you need to do because you're losing so much blood and without blood in our bodies like we we're dead besides having a heart but the heart is a main source of blood so make it make sense like do you like if you really sit down and read the bible and i was thinking to myself this morning is a difference between reading the bible and studying the bible catch it 
But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all got something out of this word of the day. It was all over the place. Um, I wanted to talk about Jairus's daughter, but that's for another day. Like literally, that's for another day. I gotta go back and read over like that one passage because it holds a lot of weight. You can get so much substance from that. 40 to 56. So much substance. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm browning right now. I love it. I love it. for 30 minutes 30 minutes starting now